Hello there, this is Rhoda with the National Museum of Racing and Hall of Fame. Thank you for joining me again for Collections Connections for Kids, a program where we can connect you to objects in the museum's collections wherever you live. So until you have a chance to come visit us here in Saratoga Springs, New York, this is a way for us to share the many stories that the objects in the museum have to share with you. The object that I've chosen today is a painting by the artist Henry Stahl, and it captures a great match race between two great horses, Tenny and Salvatore. The match race was held on June 25th, 1890 at Sheepshead Bay, a racetrack that used to be on the site of the Coney Island Jockey Club in Brooklyn, New York. As many as 40,000 people showed up that day to watch the match race, a special event held for just two horses and their two jockeys. Like all match races, there was a competitive buildup to this race. The two horses, Tenny and Salvatore, were rivals when they ran as three-year-olds in 1889. And when they both raced in the 1889 Realization Stakes at Sheepshead Bay, Salvatore won. The next year, in 1890, Tenny had won four back-to-back -back races at the start of his four-year-old racing season, before meeting Salvatore again in a race called the Suburban Handicap. Salvatore and his jockey, Isaac Burns Murphy, won that race. Upset with losing the Suburban Handicap, Tenny's owner challenged Salvatore's owner to a $10,000 match race in June of 1890 at Sheepshead Bay. Tenny and his jockey, Edward Snapper Garrison, would face off Salvatore and his jockey, Isaac Burns Murphy. The two jockeys' styles were vastly different from each other. Snapper Garrison was charged in the saddle, Murphy controlled and calm. The two horses and their jockeys are captured in this photograph close to the finish line of that great match race. The pair of Salvatore and Isaac Murphy won again that day. Isaac Murphy was born in Kentucky on New Year's Day of 1861, the son of a former slave who was a soldier for the Union during the Civil War. After his father died, Isaac and his mother, America Murphy, who had been a house slave, moved in with family friends when Isaac was very young. One of those friends would become a mentor and father figure for Isaac, the horse trainer, Eli Jordan. Eli Jordan trained some standout racehorses, including the 1879 American champion three-year-old colt falsetto. Under Jordan's guidance, Murphy grew up around horses jockeys and trainers, and he became an exercise rider working out racehorses in his youth. Murphy was 14 years old and weighed less than 95 pounds when he ran in his first race at Churchill Downs. He finished last. But with poise and determination, Murphy kept at it until he achieved unbelievable results because not all races and race results were recorded consistently at the time, it is difficult to know Murphy's exact record as a jockey, but he won between 34 and 44 percent of all his races, a truly phenomenal accomplishment. Murphy was the first back-to-back -back and three-time winner of the Kentucky Derby, winning on Buchanan in 1884, on Riley in 1890, and on Kingman in 1891. He won the most prestigious race in America of his era, the American Derby, at Chicago's Washington Park racetrack four times. He also won other big races of the era multiple times, claiming the Latonia Derby at Latonia racetrack in Northern Kentucky five times, and the Clark Stakes at Churchill Downs in Louisville, Kentucky, four times. 
Because of his tremendous athleticism and instincts, Murphy earned the right to ride the best horses of the time. Although he was a superstar and one of the highest paid athletes in the country, he kept a humble and quiet approach throughout his life. When he was just 18 years old, before the height of his career, the spirit of the times, a newspaper that covered horse racing, praised Murphy as one of the best jockeys in America. The newspaper reported, he is very observant during the progress of a race, keeps a sharp lookout for danger, is quick to perceive the weak point of an adversary and prompt to take advantage of them. He has a steady hand, a cool head, and a bold heart. Isaac Burns Murphy died of pneumonia on February 12, 1896, at the age of 35. He was given a hero's funeral in the town of Lexington, Kentucky. Isaac Murphy was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1955 for his tremendous accomplishments as a jockey. Thank you for joining me for Collections Connections for Kids. And until next time, bye for now. Mm -hmm.